Hello and welcome to the video on Power BI Custom Visuals. In this video of the series, let us take a look into the B-Swarm Visual. B-Swarm as the name suggests, it is going to display a B-Swarm kind of representation with our data. Let's start. Like any other visual, you can import the B-Swarm Visual from the App Store. And this is how by default the visual is going to look. For the purpose of this demo, the data set that I am going to use is a diamond data set. In this data set, the columns of our interest is carrot, cut, clarity, depth and price. The options that are available in the B-Swarm visual are B category, B-Swarm y-axis, B-Swarm x-axis, size, label and there is an image option. Now, all that I am going to do is like I am going to pull the clarity into category and carrot into y-axis and pr price as a size and then probably I can have a cut in my label so what it does is for each of these clarity it is going to show the price and carrot by the cut so ideal cut premium cut very good good and fair so in most cases we see that the ideal cut is having the best price and in couple of cases the premium and here it is uh, fair so these are having a little high value so to make this visual a much more interesting what I can do is like I can add one more uh, I can remove this price and it will show every bubble in a same way, same manner because the price was so far defining the size of those bubbles but now since we have removed the price it is going to show a standard size for each of those visuals this also can be used to perform a, a comparison between two numerical variables so instead of having this price in the size information I can have it in X axis so now what this is going to do is like it's going to give a representation that is a relationship between carrot and price so basically it is saying each of these cut in each of these clarity is related by price and carrot in such in this inform in this form so I'll move this price to the size and then I'll have this depth in my X axis so this gives a completely different representation now each of these is going to give a relationship between depth and carrot and the price is also going to be defining the size of each of these bubbles now I'll remove this depth and price here so now the carrot is going to be shown in Y axis let's say that I'm moving this carrot to X axis so once I move this the visual is going to be giving a representation in a horizontal format so again moving it back to y axis it's going to be a vertical format so the alignment of the data points in this visual is completely automatic so I'd like to now show distinct values of carrot so currently I'm showing the sum of carrot so now I right click I'll make this into a non summarizing so the moment I make this a non summarized as an aggregate function you see that the clarity has got now decreased by three data points and my visual is turning out to something like a bee swarm so thus this after a couple of seconds is going to show three bee swarms each for one of these clarity so as you see that this is i1 this is if and uh, this is si1 now this is happening because the data set that i'm having is having huge number of data points let's say that I'll plot the same visual but with data points from a different data set which is the diamond 2000 the only difference between diamond and diamond 2000 is it is just having 2000 records and this is having a lot more records I'll pull the same columns here I'm just going to pull the clarity I'll pull the carrot and uh, pull the carrot to y-axis change the aggregation to don't summarize and then have the cut in the label so now you see that we are able to display all the eight clarity data points because the data is less it is now able to cover all the clarity with different B swarm for each of these clarities. So 
this gives a very cool representation of the data in the form of a beehive uh, it I would say that this is very similar to a combination of a scatter plot and a box plot uh, or a violin plot in case of a Python chart uh, so it is it is it is trying to show that the uh, measures are uh, uh, related in this format uh, as far as this data set is concerned uh, coming to the properties uh, there are couple of properties which are very similar to the existing uh, visual so in this other properties we are seeing header icons tool tips and uh, alternate text and advanced options so which are very similar to uh, the existing visuals and when coming to the individual specific visual specific properties we have a size and style which is common with the other visuals title is common uh, you have options to change the bubble color uh, by each of these uh, bubbles you have options to change so and then you are also having an option to change the text let's say I want to change the legend text into an orange one so at the top if you see that this has changed the legend text and uh, this color 1 color 2 color 3 it is giving us options to change the data labels that we are displaying in each of these uh, uh, visuals uh, so now I've changed the color to white in case of color 1 and color 3 so you see that the color 1 and color 3 that is the data labels for the first and the third uh, B swarm have changed to white while the rest are all in black I have an option to display the X axis and Y axis so the moment I click on the show axis it is uh, showing the Y axis here <coughs> the other properties are you can uh, change the color of the axis you can uh, define how you how the display unit should be there in the axis and if you want to change the grid color you can uh, do you can show the grid lines if you want uh, currently th the grid line is kind of transparent so let's say that I'm giving it a black color it, uh, it should ideally show a grid line uh, then I then similarly we can uh, display the x-axis and do the corresponding formatting uh, we have the data labels section where we can display uh, the data labels and define the size and how it should be displayed so going back to this visual I'll 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 rechange this uh, carrot summarization to sum uh, so that we are able to display all the clarities at once now I'm going into the data labels section and in this section uh, we can we are we are currently seeing the information is set as 12 and only labels which fit which means uh, the data labels should be having a font size of 12 and it should be applicable only to those labels which fit in this uh, place so now when I change this into all visuals uh, it is what it is going to do is like it is going to display the data labels for all the bubbles so now let's say that I'm increasing the size of this to 21 so now you see that in this case it is not able to display very good or premium inside the bubble but still it is trying to show now if I change this to only labels which fit it is going to show this information only to those bubbles where it is able to com comfortably fit the values into the bubble then there is this tool tips option so tool tip I'm I'll initial just change this to none just to give a clear understanding of this so this tool tip is applicable specifically for y axis and for the size let's say that I am changing this into 3 now if I hover over this I can see that my uh, sum of characters showing with 3 decimals now I will also include one more information for the size which is I am going to include the depth for the size now my depth is also going to have a 3 decimal points so one other unique option which is which I am noticing that is not present in the other visuals is the image option so currently I don't have any information in my data set that can uh, look like an image so but I am just going to pull this cut information into image and you see that there is an image icon that is getting displayed so in case if my cut column is going to have the right image information each of these bubbles is going to display an image I'll move this back into label to bring it back to the original state so I feel that 
this is a very good visual and I have also tried to cover as much as possible in this visual. I would encourage you to go through this visual and play with it to understand a uh, few of the other properties uh, that are there in this visual uh, which if I had to highlight uh, are like you have couple of options like uh, in info you can change then in, in general you have a couple of other options like color, color one uh, then uh, checkbox, hxy, checkbox, check display a uh, number of levels, expand, collapse, head, heading, he height, height, sort, all these things you can just play with it to understand more on uh, those lines similarly in settings you have again strength x, strength y uh, bubble size, so bubble size as the name says is going to change the size of the bubble then the lower space, upper space, left space and uh, you know, all these things are going to just add and uh, remove the indentations to the uh, side of sides of the visual so it's more like you are setting a, a header area footer area uh, although they are not the same but it's more like you are setting up the indentation for the visual so let's say I'm changing it to, to 10 in upper also I'm going to change it to 10 as you can see like the visual is moving up and down now when I include it in the left it is going to be little pushed to the right by 10 uh, pixels and all those things so to conclude this bee swarm visual is a very unique visual where we are able to bring in the bee swarm uh, kind of a representation and I would say that it is a combination of a scatter chart and a box plot or a violin plot uh, in a single plot so I would encourage you to go through this visual and play with it to understand more on the use cases and the types of representation that you can have with this visual that's all in this part of the video on Power BI custom visuals. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe for more videos.